Hello everyone, and uh, in this video I thought I should just uh, go over something that a lot of people would probably have in the back of their mind, that when they're declaring their variable types and they're setting it to like private or making a property, does it also protect the variable from hacking? Uh, you know, like here I have, for example, a public variable, which other scripts can access easily. Then I have a private variable, which only this script can uh uh, change and then I uh, have a property as well. So it, can these be accessed by a memory hack? So cheating, a cheating software? Well, the answer is yes, because all of this is just for coding. This is just to uh, keep our code clean. But uh, in terms of being able to hack the variables is very, very easy. Uh, so, for example, here I have a public int health is equal to 880. I have a pretty, um, uh, I guess you could say, widely used cheat software. This one is called Cheat Engine that I'm going to try right here. And um, why don't I just run the uh, uh, software? So there we go. Hack test. Open it up. And then the value I want to scan for is this health value, 880. I just put in some big values there so I can just find it uh, a lot easier, but it doesn't matter. Anyone who's really determined will find uh, the variables and be able to change them. So I've got 33 entries now that are all 880. So what I'm going to do is to add them to this list. And what I'm going to do now is to deduct the health because I don't know which one is that 880, which one of these values is that, but I will know pretty soon. So now it's 879. All I have to do is just uh, do a rescan, and there we go. That's it. This is the one. I, I know it for sure. All the others are still 880, but that was changed to 879. So I can actually change the record. I can put it to say uh, 1100. Oops, I can't type. 1100. And if I come back here and refresh my UI, that's it. It's actually gone, accessed this public variable, and changed it. So I can do the same for the private variable. So if I put in here 330 and uh, do a new scan, all right, and just clear this list. So now I've got 26 values. So let's see if any of these are it. So just change the ammo. All right, so which, are, there we go, that's it, 329. This is the one that changed. So if I try it out, change the value uh, to say 600, will it have done that? And there we go, so you have changed the private variable. What about the property, which has a private variable inside of it and using this to, I guess, enclose it? So what about that? Well, yep, that will also uh, be all in the memory and easy to change as well. Uh, right, so let me just clear the list. All right, once again, I'll deduct that. Just, just refresh it. There we go. That's the 439. That's what I changed it to. So why not change the value? Uh, let me put it at, say, 900. Refresh my UI, and there you go. So you can use a memory hack software to change any variable. So a Unity program, is, by default, is very insecure. Not only that, you can also read up on articles that basically um, your games can be completely decompiled and you can access all the assets, the scripts, and everything. So someone who's really determined to hack the software can actually see the code almost like how you're seeing it as you actually write it. Uh, so that's pretty much that. How, so how can we get around all this sort of stuff? Well, I guess maybe encryption or writing very tricky code that uh, changes the values and stuff. But still, if someone can access your code and read your code, they can still uh, determine uh, how that process works. Uh, so maybe encryption, I'm not sure. But anyway, that I thought I should just uh, show you that much. So that's uh, that you know that when you're doing all this sort of stuff inside of a script, it's not to make it um, safe from 
uh, cheaters. It's not for that. It's only to make it safe uh, in terms of your coding environment so that if there are people in your team and you're, you have public variables all over the place, for example, then they're easy to access and people can be accessing what they shouldn't and changing what they shouldn't. But if you're working on your own and it's just a uh, one person game, it's a single player game and you're working on, on it by yourself, really, it doesn't matter. You can uh, use just public variables everywhere if you felt like it or uh, or you could just to get into the good practice so I guess you could use uh, properties and private variables and so on it's completely up to you but uh, at the end of the day when it comes to cheating it doesn't make any difference all right well uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon